Okay. We've got Shalini up next. Are you ready? Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Shalini Nautial. I'm uh, founder of uh, yp2.com, a consumer platform on web and mobile. Uh, how many of you look forward to an off day or a weekend to go out in the city? Can I see some hands? Okay. How many of you like to go out for a few of things like movies, food, cafe? Great. So let me see if I can relate uh, Yippie Doo to you in some manner. Can I have my... Yeah, we just this. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'll be presenting Yippie Doo today. Um, so let me take you through a day in the life of my user. Okay, so who's my user? My user is anyone who's looking for a fun day in the city, who's looking for a day out, out of his usual routine. So my user thinks, how about going for a movie? He goes to a movie ticketing, which one would be suitable for his day out plan? He has something in mind. He thinks, how about having food before or after the movie? Right, a lunch or a dinner outside? He goes to another listing website and sees around 5,000 restaurants thrown at him of which he has to make sense which one will, will be suitable for him, for his wife, his kids, preferences, right? In the meantime, he goes to Google Maps to understand the distances between. This is what he feels by the end of the day. This is where Yipidu comes into picture. Yipidu is a recommendation engine. It's like your friend in the city who would like to help you plan a day in the city in three easy steps. We are trying to reduce the online clutter. We are trying to make day out plans for you in an easy manner. Now, why Yippie Do? The simple reason is when we go out for eating, movie, cafe, anything, we are actually looking for an experience. We are not looking to go out as an activity. We are looking for a nice, fun day. Now, most of the times what happens, the experience is lost in planning the day itself. All right? What are the problems that need solution? There's tons of data which is available online, but in disparate sources. There's a need to bring the information together on a platform which can help user in decision making. There's a disconnected user experience because every single time I go out, I have to reinvent the wheel again and again. I have to do the same things. It may, movie is an example. I may would like to go out for an event, a theater. Now, I will not always be able to find out things nearby easily, right? Uh, I'll introduce the team behind this venture. I'm Shalini, I'm the founder uh, with seven years of experience in the industry. Uh, Deepak is my advisor for product and strategy. He comes with a strong background in product. Srikant is a consultant for UI and UX. Uh, Mr. Raja, he is my mentor. Uh, he's a co-founder and chief people officer at Happiest Minds Technology. And I have a full-time team with a bunch of freelancers. What is the USP of YPDO? We are trying to bring a few things together. Recommendations, like I mentioned. Uh, we are trying to understand the user behavior, choices, profile, basis on which we want to recommend. If I understand a user likes Italian food, more often, right, Chinese, I would like to bubble up that particular restaurant as a choice for your dine out option. Taste graph. We are interested as a company in understanding how a user behaves you know, when they go out for entertainment, uh, what kind of movies they like, what kind of food they like, all of this in order to help recommend better. We are trying to bring bookings on a platform, wherein from a single platform you'll be able to book movies, food, table booking, events, plays. Why will a customer return to Yipidu? Now today there are a lot of websites which are called like listing websites wherein you go and you search for Chinese food and you see a option of 2,000 restaurants. Then you go around and filter which cost suits you, right? That is not where Yipido is positioned. Yipido is positioned to build entire package and deals as per your preferences. We are trying to be more social, more able to understand what you like. This is based on um, your inputs, your way of using the platform, your no uh, network, social network and stuff. Now, we also understand that every time you may not like to go for a movie plus food plus cafe, you may also want to only go out for a special dinner on your anniversary. Now, today when you go out and try to look, there are several websites which are trying to create experiences, but most of them are very exclusive. 
we are trying to bring simple experiences as well wherein let's say you uh, you want to watch uh, you want to have uh, for example north indian food right i'll show you 10 restaurants but i help you in decision making how do i do that i show you 10 restaurants and i'll tell you that restaurant number 2 is also running a show by ragu dikshit today right why don't you try to plan a nice candlelight dinner there things like those this is how the product looks on web and mobile today uh, on mobile we are only on android market size we are tapping two market size one is the online food aggregator the other one is the online ticketing market uh, so online food aggregators typically command 5 to 10% of the uh, entire organized restaurant segment right uh, online ticketing marketing that i have brought in here is only for movies as of now there is much more beyond movies there are events there are plays what are the trends that are in favor of ep2 the most important being increasing working population right most of us both husband and wife are working we don't have enough time to spend with each other we don't have enough time to plan to spend to each with each other right so what happens people go out for dinner people go out for outings and in the in the end all of that is going in favor of my venture where i'm trying to ease that experience right uh, there are nuclear families there are people who are uh, both people both uh, husband and wife of earning they have a good amount you know their pockets are loose but they do not know how to spend wisely now if you see the trends uh, today this is more for the market uh, you can see in singapore people on an average eat 40 times outside right in india it's still two thankfully but yeah <laughs> this is the trend we are we are headed this is the competitive landscape for up2 who else is trying to do uh, the interesting take away from here uh, is you know in the in the us these two um, uh, ventures were trying to create similar taste graphs and were uh, have seen great acquisitions uh this is the special target group that we are uh, focusing on uh, as such it's a male and female age group of 22 to 35 but the special focus is on life event so people who getting transactions on boarded primarily we uh, partnered with book my show for movie related ticket bookings and just it for the restaurant data once we got the transactions on boarded we relaunched the product with transactions in july and that interface you showed us was not was the desktop interface or mobile interface so there are both there is a mobile interface as well as the desktop so clearly your products mobile so i would put all my emphasis there okay. second is uh, there are a bunch of new startups which have started actually polling the sms data on your android phones mm -hmm. which is a available channel mm -hmm. and basically tracks or starts pulling out your historic uh, behavior okay which i think you need a starting point which is stronger Mm -hmm. uh that's my humble take on this okay it's going to be very very difficult to onboard people unless mm -hmm. you're doing there's a aha or a wow moment in your app all right which which if you are going to wait till they behave on your app it's right. going to take a long time to build the social graph so the way we are approaching the app is that uh, let's say you want to um, this is something which is work in progress when you open our app today let's say here at brigade road i'll show you something to do i'll tell you from here where you can go what you can do now you may like it you may dislike it but whatever you do is an input for me i uh, understand how you would like to behave so our book my show and uh, just eat giving you apis to yes. take the customer data as well not the customer data can you can you actually get them to partner and 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 uh, allow your users to register using their existing registration data on book my show etc that's an interesting thing I've you have to pull some yeah. past data it's just too much work right. you know you're telling me to get a great experience i have to start indicating to you a lot of inputs right uh so i want as i said i want that wow moment when i open the thing mm -hmm. so these guys called walnut and puna they're looking at all the sms data okay and they know all your behavioral spends in, including which restaurants you ate in which shows you went to okay. unless you've deleted the sms okay so when you open the app for the first time it tells you your entire spend for the last year tells you where you've spent stuff etc okay so you can clearly see that somebody has spent using the city bank card at punjabi by nature so you know they've spent there and you know they've spent x amount mm -hmm. you can extrapolate and see whether they're going as a couple or as a group or as an individual right. you get a lot of data and then your wow moments start that's mm -hmm. your that's going to be your biggest challenge yeah. in my view
Um, so I think Karthik covered that, that you know, where's the foundational data coming from? And mm -hmm. that needs to get stronger. Uh, and those are good, uh, just good to ideas. add a bit yeah. here, we also try to ask users a few basic profile questions in the beginning. That's the basic first step. Yeah, and yeah. you don't want to ask too many questions yeah. because that's going to ruin the experience completely.